Two former TI champions matching up against each other here in the upper bracket at MDL Disneyland. I mean, the way he learned like it was by watching uh, Cheesy replays this at oh, bottom. Crit. Stun, burrow strike. Uh, Crit is going to be able to jump away to the orb, but he's already uh, slowed he's down by the Splinter Blast, so he is dead. GH will pick up the first blood. But it's just Sumail's game because of the switch uh, that they had to make. Oh, the arrow lands on a miracle. They're going to get the TP in for the Centaur to chain that stun. And with that magic damage, that cold embrace doesn't make a difference. Kuro it doesn't actually have the Arctic burn up, so he can't really fly away to safety here. But he's going to get a haste. haste rune. That'll help him get away. The arrow should easily be dodged. I guess the one way to do it is just to keep hitting like these arrows. Oh, crit. He threw the next round of webs to give his spiders the extra bit of movement speed to get the kill. He actually got it. The Enemy safe lane tower and the mid tower is They're going to go back. for the Broodmother. Bottom lane, they are going to be able to get the epicenter onto RTZ, who baited himself out, thinking oh, his team no. was going to rotate over. But instead, oh, they no. went for mid. And now Fly is going to die to the Broodmother. But Tumba Man hasn't taken a lick of damage. So now he sees his opportunity to get his hero in the fight as well. This game. Like, yeah. It forces a lot of different oh. heroes to kind of be useless. But oh. a man spotted by the hero, but not going to be hit by it. Instead, going to be it able goes to on GH. The H here. It actually hits <laughs> GH. The flyby. I don't, I don't like that. You know, somehow, like, I've watched Evil Geniuses, like, oh, get bottom kills They've got another kill. They aren't going to be able to get my control here. This is how you start the comeback. But, but, but how have I watched these kills happen? And I've seen Liquid's net worth lead go from 8,000 to 9,000, 10,000. It's still a 9K. Like, even when they're getting their pickoffs, they're still losing on net worth. And we should say that, oh, TP in. They're going to try and go for RTZ. RTZ desperately needs help. He cannot afford a pick off here. As he's already a little bit low on net worth. He's going to go for the TP out. They don't have a disable, apparently. Oh, they do. Winter's Curse is up. Arrow actually not going to land on Mind Control. Evil Genius is going to try and come back in and see if they can bail out RTZ, but he's dead to the Broodmother. They have the Maledict. Looks like an okay fight. A burst damage onto this Broodmother. There is going to be that cold embrace, but the magic damage is going to cut him down anyway. They do have the cast bouncing over on Miracle. GH goes into the back line, finds the big hit onto both the Mirana as well as the Witch Doctor. Jump forward from Miracle, turning into Mirana, trying to get some damage onto Crit. Crit managed to dodge a little bit, but the waveform should be enough to finish him off now. Samael knows he can't take a man fight against Miracle either. S4, it's a stun onto GH. The arrow isn't up from Samael. They don't have a chain stun for him, so we will be able to burrow strike back. But S4 continues to chase, blinking forward, getting more damage on him. They spot GH one more time, get the Spirit Vessel, he will fall. Three dead on the side of Liquid. Push on really quick. And Liquid did not hesitate walking into that pit. GH does manage to get the Burrow Strike off oh, right here. He the TP's TP into the arrow. Oh, he TP'd into the arrow. Oh, no. They're going to go for the fast kill. But there is Miracle is here. Fast? Bam. He just takes out some mail. The Moonline Shadow will help RTZ get away. They thought they had laid a trap for mind control. But that's the thing. Liquid know they're ahead. They're going to play this five-man style as much as possible, even when you think you have a pickoff. There's so many heroes of Liquid behind that one. I mean, what saved that was uh, the same Oh, fly, no. <laughs> Ah, Fly don't care. They're going to be able to catch him with the coil, force out a BKB. They will. It was fantastic. There was literally no time for uh, Mind Control to pop his BKB. S4. Dares to jump outside the pit. He's got 3,000 HP with the Shivas, so I don't blame him for thinking about that. And they've got to they've got to get an initiation. Otherwise, they're just going to get their buildings chipped away by Broodmother and Morphlings. So they're going to wait for uh, all their heroes to be up. 10 seconds. S4's got to be careful. Oh, oh, the Burrow Strike misses. And now the Silence on a Miracle. He's going to pop the Manta. Goes for the one shot onto S4. He is dead. He doesn't actually have buyback. That is real troublesome for evil geniuses. You said in order to win this game, it's going to be a large part on the back of this Centaur. And now if Liquid just dare to keep going, they may be able to take two or three lanes of racks with this full minute of the Centaur gone. Yeah, they're being tentative right now because they think that there's a good chance that S4 has buyback, mm -hmm. but they'd be wrong. Uh, paralyzing Cast gonna bounce around, does nail back to Matumba Man here. Big Nukes, not gonna be enough to kill the Witch Doctor. Now they get the coil out. Matumba Man does have his BKB and he's gonna pop it. His GH hits a beautiful Burrow Strike. He doesn't manage to get off the Epicenter though, but still, Crit is dead and Diffuser Blade slowing down some mail while he goes for RTZ. Moonlight Shadow is gonna go out. Evil geniuses with only three alive have to poke and prod at Liquid and somehow stop them from getting off these Raxes, but also not die to the initiation as nice GH task. finds another jump for RTZ. They're going to finish up this mid lane of Rax. 20 seconds now. That is going to be Megas. And that is going to be Evil geniuses calling it here. A valiant effort. Weaver would have been way too squishy. So Naga is their choice, which seems so weird. Naga is strong because of her extremely high armor. 
Samael is going to come in with the tag team here. Matumba Man trying to stay in that tag team radius to get as much damage on Samael as possible. And that is nice. going to be your first blood. It was supposed to be a free farming matchup, but GH with a beautiful rotation, he does end up dying to the Fisher. Uh, like dual lane pressuring Naga Siren because it's a bunch of magic oh, damage. Nice Fisher. They are going to be able to get a good flame break onto a miracle. He's dead. taking so much damage, and he is dead. So He's that's how you take do it. Out. That is a good pickup. Because, you know, I, I feel like I've played a lot of four position Earth Shaker, and there's some games where you just don't get any. Oh, bottom uh, line. Fly. <laughs> it's a very smart play by Liquid going for the assassinate, the big burst of damage, which means that the Abaddon had no hope of getting a miscoil tonight. It looked really funny, though. It was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fly just kept prepping it, and he's like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Don't make me. <laughs> Don't test me. Samael, trying to scare his bounty runes here. Crit's going to help him out. Crit may be giving up his life for it. In fact, Samael's going to see you later. That bounty rune is not worth my life. GH tries to come in to take the other one, Arteezy. Oh, nice. Ice shards blocked there. It's going to be the TP out. The snowballs it in time. It, it lands him. The assassin is there as well. And a big burst of damage. One they second. try and silence him, but it's not going to be good enough. I mean, EG's doing the classic EG thing now, where it's like... They're going to make this move into mid. Grab him. Really pull him. Good Trying to get the snowball. GH says, whoa, okay. Couldn't couldn't save you, buddy. I just got to get out of here. You used to be able to, like, loop two waves into the neutrals, mm -hmm. and now you just don't do that. Now Miracle's going to single-handedly take a tower. The Batrider is going to TP in here. Echo Slam goes out. Good. Winner's curse, though. The Winter Wyvern on the side, and this is going to be an easy fight for Liquid, it's looking like, as they turn. Kill one support. Managed to get the other one in fly, who couldn't deny himself either. Oh. S4 still in trouble. It's going to be chased by the snowball. Does not have a way to get up into the trees. He's just dead. Flame breaks down. Oh, fly. No, the big headshot proc. Nukes him down real quickly, but Arteezy also gets a couple procs himself there on a Kuro. Inkling that he was going to get. Like, they it's gave him a way out. They're going to catch Fly. Fly's going to remove that ensnare, but he's already taken so much damage that his ultimate has been popped. Arteezy gets the silence, but Fly is very, very dead. Both supports on Liquid and EG do you get picked off in this stalemate of five on five. Neither team fully committing for a full team fight until maybe now. They're gonna grab the Winter Wyvern, delayed by the Song of Siren. A great response from Miracle that is also gonna result in Samael not stunning himself, but losing his unstable nice concussion. He's gonna be able to blink away. Drown Ranger comes from the side, does manage to get a good silence, but is now ensnared. Immediately the Hurricane Pike away. Snowball forward onto Samael. Samael, a little bit scared to turn there, and they're leaving S4 to die as the Sniper is just poking and prodding at these heroes. They are gonna be able to stay on the high ground. Great winner's curse though from Kuro, catching that at Draw Ranger, allowing Miracle to be able to close that distance, get the ensnare on top of him. The silence is out. AoE stuns coming out from Fisher as well as the unstable concoction, but not enough to save Arteezy as Miracle marches forward one core and now looks for the support into the Earthshaker while Samael will be saved by Fly, but Fly may not be able to save himself unless he has Crit? an ultimate. He's, He's got, got Echo it. Slam, almost finishing off Miracle. Does he have an enchant totem? He has the magic damage of the Fisher. That's going to be Chris gonna get both. Going to get the stun under Kuro. Oh he gets my. the Aftershock stun, kills him. He will die to the long range attacks from Matumbo. A man in mind control, but still a great turnaround play by him. S4. Oh, this is a bold move by him. He sees the TP out of the Tusk. Is going to try and go for mind control, but doesn't have the lasso up. So, and uh, could not get the oh, wait. frame S4 perfect timing. Unless, S4, you got to be careful of this sniper. Now, fortunately, he's Mask Madness, so won't be able to get the assassinate. The Drone Ranger tries to go for it. He does have a butterfly. He closed the distance with the sniper. Maybe that's not where you wanted to go, but the butterfly is keeping alive for now. He does manage to kill the sniper and trade away his life for that one. Gets a lot of damage on GH. The Echo Slam almost enough to finish him off. It does. GH falls. Miracle's uh, taken about a third of his health, but is still ready to fight. Look at that. Mind control. Enchants the creep. I think is always going to be the cool part is uh, Sumail Smoke up, head to mid lane. Sumail has the unstable concoction to get the stun. There is going to be the cold embrace, but immediately he's saying no more Winter's Curses. I'm going to make sure this Winter Wyvern dies first, and he does indeed die. There is going to be the silence onto the Naga. Sorry, no the back line. be able to get rid of that. They want to be able to get to Arteezy, but he managed to get over to the high ground. Good play by him, but the Ice Shards is currently blocking in crit. He gets an Aphotic Shield, pops the Echo Slam, just do as much damage before he dies, but the silence onto the Naga. Maybe they can actually kill her, but the Winter's Curse! There is going to be another Winter's Curse, and a one at that to save the Naga Siren. GH trying to go for that back line. RTZ is very low, but he can't quite get the kill. Fly with the defensive support keeps his carries alive. One of them TPs out, the other one making his way out of here. Miracle is healed up with his heart and is ready to fight again. But Samael says, Let's have it. Nice, nice man to dodge. What a great play. The Miracle heck? can it actually win this fight though? The Fisher blocking him in. Samael tries another to go for another dodge. He doesn't get it by that stun either. And Samael now stuck inside the trees. They need to be able to help him out with the spear vessel. He's 
he's taking so much damage from the sniper. But now, with the rest of Evil Genius pushing forward, Arteezy is back for the Fountain, and he's here to be able to claim the sniper's life and force Miracle back with the Song of the Siren. Yeah, and the Fissure is about to be up from crit. He almost has Blink up. They really want to go up, for this. Get the Fissure block. He got it. A beautiful setup, but Miracle, again, Manta Dodge doesn't dodge the stun, but gets on the other side of the Fissure, but they know which one is real, and the Flame Break bumps him back over to the Fissure side. 10,000 net worth lead. You're going to see it on Matumba Man here, but the immediate save from nice. GH. He does manage to get the snowball. Matumba Man backs off. There's going to be the Song of Siren going out. They're going to set this up. Are they actually going to take the team fight, though? Mind Look Control. At They're not actually protecting him with the Song of Siren. Mind Control almost dies. Arteezy not able to get that kill, though. Matumba Man is still being gone on by Samael, who's going to chase him down. Unstable Concoction heal. after Unstable Concoction. He gets another big core kill. Meanwhile, the Naga Siren is left a completely alone liquid. Had to back up trying to save Matumba Man. That left Miracle all alone in that shrine area. Both those cores are dead for a minute with no buyback. Yeah, I think this uh, an EG hits buildings incredibly fast with their lineup. And this game might just be over. Liquid is looking up. like it. Oh, nice Winter's Curse. Oh, that is a beautiful one. That is on S4. They try and force staff save, and that's not going to happen. They're just going to go for the high ground here. They've got 38. Oh. Long seconds. They've got a buyback on Naga Siren now, but without the Sniper, I have a feeling that maybe Miracle's just gonna hold on to it. Unless, maybe they overextend themselves. So Mail tries to go for the kill onto the Naga Siren. You can sign, oh, that's right. And that's just another tool down for Team Liquid when it comes to defending. And they're going to lose these buildings so quickly. Liquid, they've got to come up with some sort of defense and fast. A man to dodge that fails. Samael pushing forward. That Miracle is at half health here. Goes for it. And they are going to be able to finish off GH. Miracle gets the ensnare onto that Drought Ranger. But the melee Rex is now dead. It's only the range Rex, which can't even heal. One last shot on Matumba Man. Not going to be enough. A good winner's curse. That's going to be onto the Alchemist with the Drought Ranger laying in that damage. But it's not enough to actually get the kill. He's still stunned up. There is going to be the Arctic Burn. The Silence, though, is going to make sure that's all that she wrote for the Winter Wyvern. They are going to be able to control up uh, this Earthshaker. Crit is not going to be able to leap away in time. But that Aghanim Scepter just keeps on doing its work. They They've got a full-on Megas and Arteezy even thinking about sticking around and just going for those tier forces. Samael is not going to back down either. He hasn't backed down all game ever since he got six slotted, and he won't stop now. That he sees game three is on the horizon. S4 blinking forward, grabbing the sniper. That's four dead on the side of Liquid, and the GG call forced out. I so the idea behind Lena is they may be one more burst damage. Ooh. Oh, this is the, this is going to be their answer to the OD mid. Now it's like, oh no, because of her ulti, she's just broken. But uh, Liquid does get rid of it. I don't think they want to play a third game against it. Oh, what? What Wait, is what this? Uh, Holy cow, Curl has his passive. Um, This is so cool. This is probably the... Oh my goodness. This is Liquid certainly surprised Evil thing. Geniuses with this one. A two-man stun. They just keep on going for the tower. The bear's going to take it up. Yo, let me say that I've said in the past that Liquid prioritizes the mid tower more than any other team. Another low. <laughs> I've never seen that before. He just hits you. So you, there's no support that trades super well with it because he outranges everybody. There is going to be uh, an Oracle in trouble here as one last shot from Mind Control will do it. I like that uh, Fly turns around just spitefully lays out some damage versus the Morphling. And look at this, the mid tower push. All the prepping that they did in the early game, we always talk about it. Liquid taking mid towers. They brought in both supports just to be able to secure this. And now Sumail with the tower dead. Sumail, nice body blocking from GH. That was really well done. And will heal off of that second purifying flame. Oh, Matumba Man. Behind. Matumba Man is going to be able to go for a kill here. Fly very smartly disarms the bear, but he he's hoping really for no away. root. He tries to go for uh, the purify. It's on coming. The Mask of Madness, but the root is going to come eventually. I, it was the fifth hit. Sentry revealing GH. But S4 has got to be careful here. He's a bit low. Bear's going to chase. Oh, Crit just throws out the damage. Laguna Blade and the big new comes out from Samael, securing the Abaddon as well as the Lone Druid. Now GH is going to die as he comes back from his imprisonment. Up here, Liquid. I actually get to try and go for the fight here. So 50 minutes, they do manage to get the Doom onto the Puck. A Phonic Shield immediately removing the Centaur Stun. And it looks like the Puck will be able to get away to safety unless Arteezy wants to go for that kill. He's already found Curl. That's a pretty easy one. The Morphling surrounded by heroes. Waveforms down to low ground. But that's where Arteezy is. They throw out the Laguna Blade and go everything rush. they have to be able to get that kill on the carry of Team Liquid. Bottom lane, Matumba Man is taking a Tier 1 tower right now. A Burrow Strike onto 2. The Dream Coil on Fly. And looks like he 
in a warding mission. You just keep beating on him and you're going to steal a ton of intelligence. If he's high armor, well, pure damage is going to make short work of a miracle. He's going to be gone on here. There's going to be the interception, though. GH with the Burrow Strike. They have the long range LSA onto the Morph Fling. Now the Doom as well. So he's pretty much out of the fight. And they've killed GH with the Sand King. He immediately buys back, though. They're going to try and fight this one as the Doom wears out. Crit lays out all the damage onto the Puck, catching him with the LSA and the Laguna Blade. A great kill there. Even though EG is up 6,000 net worth and their heroes are still quite strong at this part of the game. They're going to smoke up behind this. The bear and the morphling doing some work. Mind Control makes his jump. There is going to be the Dream Call, the follow-up epicenter. All that magic damage is protected, though, because the Oracle. Now GH is going to lose his life. The Scythe of Ice in the back line as well. That means Miracle is going to get beat down bit by bit. They do have the Imprisonment. Matamba Man being gone on by S4. Misses that big Infernal Blade hit. They're still going to be able to get that kill, though, as he dies to the Necronomicon minion. Miracle was able to fight through all of this, though. Is able to get the kill on Fly with help. And they're going to be able to chase down one more. The OD. Evil Geniuses split their damage. The male's desperately trying to get the kill on Pug, and he does get it before he dies to Miracle. A double kill for the carry of Team Liquid. What the a massive difference. In yeah, the balance. buyback on the buyback onto GH. Nice two-man burrow strike. The follow-up uh, coil as well as four pops is BKB. They get the Laguna Blade. That's going to be able to take away the Lincolns. Now the Doom is on the Morphling. Kuro is going to stick with this Morphling. Just keep on healing him as much as possible. S4 is fully committed for it. They almost get the kill. They do manage to get it. Artezis pops his ultimate with a blink forward of Samael. They have the Scythe of Ice on Kuro. Imprison him while he's got that borrowed time active. They're trying to get away on the puck right now. They're going to leave Samael to deal with Kuro, and he is very dead for sure. Sure, they do manage to run down Matumba Man, but Mind Control gets out. Up for him in just two seconds time. If they get the right kind of initiation on Miracle here, it's going to be massive. They leave with the LSA, manage to get the stun onto two. S4 jumps forward and boom, the hammer is just dropped. There goes that Morphling. GH is going to be caught by Samael as he continues to rack up that damage on him. Lena is blown up by Mind Control on the side there and GH hiding in the trees. Eventually, he's going to be found by the OD. Meanwhile, S4 charging forward with his BKB like always. Kuro as well as Matumba Man are going to be in trouble. Tumba Man's gonna live, but Kuro could not stay alive in that fight. Mind Control did buy back for that as well and is trying to catch some mail right now. Size four staffs jumps away as four trying to catch him does manage to get the doom onto mind control That's gonna be die back by him Kuro could not save him there But Tumba man coming forward with the bear you said liquids all in on stopping this Roshan and they don't stop here They're gonna be able to find crit that is him dead die back as well 80 seconds and evil geniuses do not feel comfortable finishing off that Roshan, but they are going to take the fight. The shape shift goes out from Arteezy. Starts leading all of his army towards DH, who's going to be forced to burrow strike away. A Miss Centaur stun from S4. GH is completely burned out of mana. Going to be burned out of health as well as the Necronomicons chase him down. Miracle does manage to turn to the OT and imprisons up the Doom to be able to waveform away, making sure that the Doom cannot Centaur stomp him. Looks like in the very back line to start, where you have to retool your plan and Miracle. Oh, oh, my oh. lord. And now they push the top lane. The tier three is falling pretty fast due to the double siege wagon and all the damage coming out from oh, RTC. Man. But the epicenter going into the back line. GH is immediately going to try and pop the Oracle, but it's not going to be good enough. And Miracle's oh, caught already. Oh, no. What happened to Miracle? What happened to the team? Samael just blew them all up. There's going to be the centaur stun from S4 as the Abaddon borrowed time is just borrowed time indeed. And Kuro will call it here. They know they can't stop evil geniuses. EG, come back. They were 0-1 against Team Liquid, but they managed to come back in the series and end it.